Here we have a 2022 Toyota Camry Hybrid. This one comes in the XLE trim level in midnight black metallic on black leather interior. And the powertrain consists of a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder hybrid engine made it to a CVT. And that gets us 208 net horsepower. Coming around to the front end here, we do get LED daytime running lights along with LED headlamps. And the daytime running lights don't flash like that. That's just how the camera's picking it up. But still really nice styling for this 22. And then coming around to the side here, we get 18 inch aluminum wheels. Also look really good for a hybrid. We get passive keyless entry on the front doors. And then we get one touch up and down, automatic windows on all four doors. Power door lock controls here, rear window lock, and then power mirror controls here. So turn it to one side or the other, and then you can adjust it. And I don't know if you heard that, but the hybrid engine just started up instead of running off of all battery power. Decent size pocket here, like the bottle holder. Excuse the wind, it's windy out here, of course. Automatic high beams are here, traction control. We can hold that to pop the hood, or pop the trunk, excuse me. Hold that to pop the gas cap, and then the heated steering wheel toggle is part of that cold weather packages right here. And here's our driver's seat with power and power lumbar support. I like the overall design of the seat, though. But I have that seat up front just for someone of my size being six foot three and I have longer legs. So I'm about to go ahead and test out the leg room. So really not bad at all. Like I said, that seat up front just for someone of my size and knees are just barely touching the back of the seat here. Still rather comfortable because I can fit my feet underneath the seat and the whole back of the seat is soft but firm. I like that we have seat back pockets on both seats. Rear AC vents are there. And then the middle seat, fold down, cup holders. And I do like that we have the premium dome lights in the back. And then grab handle here with a hanger. You can put about two hangers on there. Let's go ahead and make our way to the back. And where I pop the gas cap, there's that. And then where I pop the trunk, here's a look at the cargo space. A decent size for a hybrid. And then this actually, if I can get it up, here we go. That's where the battery is. So easy to get to. And then I'm gonna show you how the second row seat folds down here in a moment. And then we have a jack and all of that fair, and then you lift this up, and there's your spare tire, if you ever need it. And there's a quick look at the back end. And actually for a hybrid, not a bad looking tailpipe, honestly. We're coming around to the back passenger here. I pulled that. I guess I didn't pull it good enough because it won't fold down. So let's try this again. There it is. And there's that seat folded flat. You can run longer objects through. If you ever need to do that. And then you can just pull it back into place to lock it. And then I really like that we have a front passenger seat that's power, even on this XLE. Glove compartment there, owner's manual. I'll show you all the window sticker, if I can get it unfolded here. So of course, fantastic crash test rating. Now look at this fuel economy, 44 city, 47 highway. And then here are all of our standard features. And then we have a few options over here. And for what I think to be a pretty good sticker price, $34,031. Especially having leather seats, heated seats. But like I said before, the styling of the 22 Camry, specifically on this hybrid, is pretty nice. Because it is a hybrid, so you're used to having a little less of a pleasing look 
on the outside. But this looks as good, maybe even a little better than just getting a regular Camry LE. I guess that wasn't, I don't know what's going on there, but there's that 2.5 liter naturally aspirated hybrid motor. Let's see if I can get this to, I guess that might've broken off. Interesting. So we'll just shut that. But now we're gonna hop in the driver's seat. And keep in mind, this vehicle does have 27,000 miles on it, so there's a few items that I'm noticing I'll point out in terms of wear and tear. Leather wrapped steering wheel looks really nice still. Not seeing any sort of fading. And like I said, it is heated, that button's right there. And then going over here, I believe this is a nine inch screen. We get AM, FM, XM along with Bluetooth audio, and then we also have wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android auto compatibility too. And there's a home page which I like because I can see the battery engine and how it's, the power is being divvied out to the wheels. And we do get Wi-Fi hotspot, and there are all of our apps there. So not a lot going on, which I like. It's pretty easy to use this system. There's our backup camera with guidelines that follow you as you turn the steering wheel. And then you can also get a wider angle if you want to. Hazards here, vents there. We do get dual zone automatic climate control. Use this button to sync. Use this button for the auto mode. And you turn the auto mode off there. But the sync, I like that we can just turn it off without having to adjust the temperature. So that's a, just a quick click of a button and then a USB port right there 12 volt here wireless charging pad there and then storage underneath there now to shift the CVT pull the lever reverse neutral drive and then you can come over here and you can manually shift the CVT revs and then you get three drive modes an eco normal and sport and then you also have an EV mode too as well as an electronic parking brake and an automatic brake hold. So for the electronic parking brake, just pull up to engage and then hit the brake, press down here to disengage. Three stage heated seats for the driver and front passenger. And then center console cubby space. I do like that we have a USB-C and a USB-A charge port there. And then we have our universal garage door transmitter on the rear view mirror. sunglasses holder there quick view of the back seat and then to the left side of the steering wheel we use these four arrows and this OK button along with this back button to go through our gauge cluster that center digital cluster there and then Bluetooth button volume controls voice recognition and on the right side we get Toyota safety sense 2.5 I believe so we get the full speed radar cruise control the lane tracing and lane steering assist. And then we have the forward collision as well as the adaptive cruise or radar cruise gap adjust here. And then we can use this mode button to go through our audio, whether it's, well, I should say our audio sources. So between FM, AM, if we have Bluetooth or CarPlay hooked up, and then we can use these arrows to go through the track list or radio station presets there. And then blinkers. Headlamp control, there's auto mode, there's a daytime running light off mode. Then we can flash the high beams there. Like I said, automatic high beams, you toggle those there. And then we have the windshield wiper controls here, so one time, intermittent, low, high, and then you can toggle your intermittent here, and then push this back for front wiper fluid. There's our push button start. And finally, here is our key fob. But now let's go ahead and take this 2022 Toyota Camry Hybrid XLE out on the road for a quick test drive. So like most hybrids, the I tested out the EV mode coming out of the parking lot there and it got me up to about 25 miles per hour on all EV power before the gas engine kicked on. Really like how the vehicle drives though. Pretty good acceleration. A 
of course having the torque from the electric motors you have that gas powered four cylinder and then you also have the the CVT it gets up efficiently and swiftly without having to worry about shift points I'm gonna put in a sport mode now gonna put my foot down just a tad oh wow Wow. For a car that gets 40, <laughs> almost 45 miles per gallon combined, it's crazy how quick the car can be. Having that electric motor helping, it kind of got away from me for a sec. What makes it so impressive is the fuel economy, the Toyota reliability, having all these safety features and then still having a car that coming out the line is pretty quick because it has the help from the electric motor this is a fantastic this is really a fantastic vehicle for the money quite impressed all the way around And then my battery is not even being used that much. And then I'm also recouping energy as I drive. Super, super impressed. So like with most hybrids, what's great about having a hybrid powertrain is you don't have to worry about an auto stop. Now your engine's gonna cut off and on regardless, but you have the electric motor if you're coming out of a stoplight and you want a little bit of acceleration on the front end or if you just want to have more power you have that electric motor helping with the torque so coming out of that stoplight i didn't have to worry about that half a second hesitation from the engine starting back up because the electric motor was ready to go and then when it was time for the gas engine to kick on to kick on it was already started. So that's one of the big benefits of having a hybrid that a lot of people look past is when you are saving gas miles because you're not idling at a red light, you also have the instantaneous ready to go pedal because you're not having to wait on the gas engine, you already have the electric motor going. So competition for this Camry Hybrid is going to be the Sonata Hybrid, the Accord Hybrid, and that's pretty much it right now. Just in terms of for the money around that $35,000, $40,000 price range, that's getting 40 plus miles per gallon. And it's considered an economy car. Those are the two options and I think the Sonatas are really really nice because Hyundai's been doing their thing and then also the Accords have always been a favorite of mine too but this Camry just Toyota's been working on hybrids about as long as anybody and it shows with how this car drives the gas mileage it gets and then still when you put it in a sport mode the the power you get from it And I've said a million times, Toyota's Safety Sense 2.0 and up is fantastic. Having the lane centering, having the radar crews being able to toggle between radar and regular, and then lane centering and just lane assist so easily. It's just, there's a reason that these are one of the best selling cars and one of the few sedans still out on the road because they're still fantastic even as people start to go to SUVs so with all that being said this will bring me to the end of my review of the 2022 Toyota Camry Hybrid and the XLE trim level